I'm Gordon Vanderpool from Franklin, North Carolina with Turning Stones Fly Fish, and I'm going to give you a few tips on the proper fly cast to use while staying here in the mountains. What you're going to need is access to an experienced guide. In the mountains, in my opinion, you have a lot of streams that are really tight, tree canopies real close, so you're not going to be able to pick the fly up and false cast. Most people, when they first get into fly fishing, that's what they think it is, because that's what they see on the movies, back and forth. Well, the most important cast is the roll cast. And rather than somebody sitting there spinning their wheels, trying to learn it, because it can be tricky, I would recommend go get an instructor, get a guide, take an hour or two lesson. He can teach you the roll cast in just a few minutes. And he already has you out there fishing, takes the guesswork out of how to learn it. You already have the cast. The difference between the false cast and the roll cast is simple. You're false casting like this. So all your lines going behind you, you go forward, it all goes in front of you. So what does that do? It takes space to do. Now, when you're on a lot of these streams in the mountains, they're tree choked, canopies are close to the river, you can't do that. Some experienced anglers can, but a beginner is definitely going to struggle with that. So that's where the roll cast comes in. You kind of drag your line back, you got trees behind you, and the river's in front, and you just kind of roll it out and punch it. So what that does is keeps your line in front of you in the water, and you don't have to pull it behind you and get snagged in the trees to cast. So that's where the roll cast comes in. It's really important. Uh, beginners can be like, man, it looks like I'm doing the same thing you're doing, but I'm not getting bit. Well, presentation is everything. And uh, the best thing to tell somebody is just practice. Practice makes perfect. It's not something you're going to get in two hours. You may think you got it out there, but you may get it out there and it may splash on the water. So presentation, a good cast, a light present, it's very important. And that just comes with practice. The more you do it, the better you'll get at it. Yeah, with trout, they're really spooky, so the, the lighter of a pre presentation you can offer to them, the better chance you have to catch one. So you're not trying to just splash it down. A splash on the surface doesn't attract a trout. Now a bass, you can make as much splash as you want. With the trout, you want to lay that down nice and soft. So a good, smooth cast is very important. Those were just a few tips and pointers on the proper types of fly casts to use while fly fishing here in the mountains.